So what's the purpose of any business? Well, you can, you can stand back and you can say, well, it's to service the public. It is to service the public. It's to provide good customer care. And we can sit here and we can list out all of these reasons why we're in business. Really, at the end of the day, the purpose of any business must be to make a profit. You have to make a profit. You have to bid the job, you have to price the product or service so that there is a profit built in so you can continue to employ the people that you're employing and service the customers that you are servicing. Now that does not degrade the quality of the service or product. It does not degrade the value of customer service. It does not degrade any other answer that you have for this. But here is the bottom line. And what must be confronted is that without profit, there will very soon be no business. Now it's harsh, it's tough, it hurts. But listen, you signed the loan, you signed the lease. And the moment you signed the loan and the moment you signed the lease, you are in business. And all you have to do is flip this switch in your mind and just start thinking like an executive. All right, so your basic purpose is why you're doing this. Why are you providing this product or service? And it has to be about helping the customer solve a problem. Then you have your strategic plan, which is how you're gonna execute and accomplish your basic purpose. You have your action plan, which are the action steps. And then you have your results. Now the results are happy customers, but Profit is a result. Buying a Ferrari is a result. Taking your family on a nicer vacation is a result. What's your purpose? We have to stand back and take a look. Who are you helping and why are you helping them? You can't be everything to everybody. You just can't, you have to start making a decision. Everybody makes bad decisions. Here's the great, great thing about being in business. Do you know you only have to be right 51% of the time to succeed? If you're right 48% of the time and wrong 52% of the time, then you still could make it. It would be a little crazy. But here's the thing. Scratch perfection from your universe. You just can't be perfect. There are people who always will pay a premium price for value. And the moment you try to degrade yourself down the pole of, you know, value, you're just making yourself like everybody else. Now you can whine and complain and cry and bellyache all you want about, oh, nobody wants to pay more than 395 for a grand. It's like, that is so not true. So if Drew and Mary can get 1600 bucks in the middle of a bayou, I don't want to hear any sob story from you about how nobody will pay in your town, because that's not true. I had the second highest prices in the county.